It's Canada's most recognizable piece of robotic hardware in space. The Canadarm. And since 1981, it's helped engineers on the ground and astronauts like Chris Hadfield do everything from building the International Space Station to repairing satellites and moving cargo. My hands are stable, my body's stable, and I'm all set to operate Canadarm too. Mission control for this robotic marvel is in Longueuil, Quebec at the Canadian Space Agency. Good evening. I'm here and about to go off limits. So yeah, we're gonna go and uh, see what it's like to actually control Canadarm2. That's amazing. <laughs> it's just in there? Yes. Danielle Cormier is my guide. She's an engineer and a mission controller but she started here as a co-op student 25 years ago. I was actually in the control center when we uh, launched the Canada Derp 2 into space and deployed it. So I was actually one of the flight controllers that was there when we carried it on for the first time. Often the Canada Arm is controlled from Earth. Basically, we just tell the arm where to go with a few clicks, a few mouse inputs. But astronauts are also trained to help maneuver it from space. I'm ready to maneuver. One of their challenges is to capture an arriving spacecraft. And they learn how to do that with a simulator. I can't believe it. I'm at the Canadian Space Agency learning to control the Canada Arm 2. So today, I'm lined up in front of three monitors, a switch panel, and have two hand controllers. These look like joysticks. Are yes. you just playing video games all day? <laughs> well, it takes a little bit the same uh, kind of dexterity to do it. Like you have to do your two hands together because with the left hand, you'll be able to do translation like X, Y, Z. And the one for the right hand is basically pitch yarrow. It takes a lot of practice. The astronauts have to go through quite the uh, training to be able to do it properly. I've only had about 10 minutes with the controls. Let's see how I do. You're going to want to use your left hand to just align over the target. Once you're happy, you can actually press into the hand controller and it's going to start getting closer. It moves a lot, like bounces. <laughs> you can find a way to push in and adjust at the same time, which is how we train astronauts to do it. <laughs> I just have to focus right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is hard. <laughs> and yeah, I think you're good. You can I can capture. Press the trigger. Okay, capturing. Yep. Did it work? Yes. Yes. I got it. <laughs> the next Canada Arm is in the works right now. Its destination, the Lunar Gateway. Canada Arm 3 is very exciting because, of course, it's going to be a space station around the moon. It will have one long arm and a smaller one that can grab more things and a set of detachable tools. It has to be able to basically move on its own without the ground basically having to send every command. With Artemis 3 expected to return humans to the moon in 2025, the Canada Arm 3 won't be far behind. It will launch in 2027. The first time we are going to get to operate Canada Arm 3 around the moon and get to see views, it's going to look very different. It's going to be very surprising. What advice do you have for young people? Find something that you love, something that you're passionate about, because then you're going to be fascinated by what you do. <laughs>